Cool saliva surveillance is an opportunity to divide communities, workforces, campuses, sports teams, facilitated living facilities into manageable pools and analyze each pool of people as a group and determine the prevalence of SARS-CoV-2. A, a negative result says that pool is not uh, harboring any, any of the virus. A positive result, on the other hand, says somebody in here, maybe multiple people, or have been exposed to the virus and are shedding the virus. They're infected. Uh, that triggers a different response where they can really manage their population with a reasonable number of samples with a very fast turnaround time next day uh, once we receive the samples. Uh, and it gives them the, the information they need to make decisions that will allow their businesses and their universities or schools to stay open and functioning. So the difference between pool saliva uh, surveillance testing and a medical test is, of course, the scale. In a, in, a, in a pool saliva, we have anywhere from three to 100 individuals that are contributing to a pool, and that becomes the group that's tested. The saliva from each individual is pooled to a composite sample that's tested. Uh, in contrast, to sample all 100 people medically, every individual person has to have a sample collected from them personally, uh, and 100 tests have to be run versus the one test uh, in a pool of 100. The method is really quite simple. Uh, everybody gets a single clean vial. Uh, they deposit a small saliva sample in it, screw the top on, all of those vials uh, just get lumped into one, uh, one container. It's shipped to the lab. Uh, we extract a uniform amount of saliva from each one of the individual samples, so everybody contributes an equal amount. Uh, so it's evenly weighted. We extract the uh, virus RNA, if any is present, from that pool saliva sample. We analyze it using the traditional uh, RT-QPCR clinical method adapted for saliva testing. Uh, and then we report from that. You know, one of the benefits that I see uh, having uh, you know, small grandchildren and, and remembering my, grand, my parents and my grandparents is the, the stress and, and the uh, anxiety that a nasal swab causes. You know, things don't belong in our nose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for someone who is having memory problems or for a young child, for that to happen to them is very unnerving. A saliva test is so much less stressful that uh, it, it really uh, adds some value there as well. That, that goes beyond just the medical and the, uh, the surveillance monitoring, but there's some real, some real emotional value there as well.